Aloha, this is Drake Weinert, East Hawaii Chapter President of the Hawaii Farmers Union United. And uh, I just recently went on a trip to Washington, D.C. for the National Farmers Union. We had a National Farmers Union fly-in where over 400 delegates from all over the United States flew to Washington, D.C. to meet with our representatives and senators and to ask them to support National Farmers Union initiatives for this year. So uh, I got to fly into DC. This was about my fourth time flying to DC. Uh, popped out of the subway at that old agricultural building. This is, uh, as the undersecretary said, this is the uh, uh, People's Building. So it's right on the National Mall. The Department of Agriculture belongs to the people. Uh, got to sit over by the Washington Monument and you know what's great about being with the Farmers Union was this week and have a sort of mini vacation uh, and just enjoy myself. Went over to the Thomas Jefferson uh, Monument, always representing freedom and uh, he looks out right over the White House. Uh, you know, his, Thomas Jefferson's head just peeks down there. And uh, cruised through the National Mall, saw the war memorials, all those things. Um, and then had a phenomenal dinner. Uh, D.C., it's all about the food. This was one of the local restaurants that we were able to find. And uh, amazing wait staff. And everything came with, from within about 200 miles. So even people in D.C. paying attention to their food. Uh, and we had a great time there getting to know them. Uh, next morning we woke up. This uh, was a three-day event. So uh, first morning was kind of meeting with all the USDA people and about 400 of us Farmers Union representatives came out, filled the USDA auditorium, listened about uh, the woes of farming and uh, you know it's it's hard at being a, a farmer all around the country. People um, you know, uh, trying to provide family food, regenerative agriculture. It's, uh, it's that struggle that we all face. So, um, and then another big thing National Farmers Union is advocating for is climate change. And that's something we as Hawaii representatives have a lot going on with our natural farming and, um, learning how to make resilience and grow our own fertilizers right here on the island. And so um, we, we have a lot to add there. Um, also, a National Farmers Union wants to get ethanol upped. And uh, so more corn being burned in our gas tanks at the pumps. And, um, and consolidation, whereas this chart shows that uh, the top four companies own just huge chunks of the market share. So those are some national agendas. Um, but really it was about lobbying. So it, this was great experience for me to learn about how to, um, the whole system works. You know, um, I'm just a bill sitting on Capitol Hill. <laughs> um, there's a lot to it. So, um, and the, the thing about it I say would be experience, you know, sending a new person each time we want to hear their story, um, you know, anchor something into your politician, but it's really, um, you know, I can see why politics are as entrenched as they are. Because it, people invest a lot in these folks, and then we want to get our return back, meeting with them, building relationships, you know, and that's what Vince is best at, building these relationships for our union. And it was a really good time to get to know him and Bryn as well, as we were, uh, you know, listening to uh, Department of Ag uh, chairs, but also the heads of the wheat lobby and the soy lobby and the corn lobby. And um, those guys just giving us encouraging words on how to talk to senators. Um, and Bernie Sanders, obviously popular with the people. Um, and uh, we traveled through the Congress, found some kalo growing there where I figure the, um, the senators, they know the plant of power. They're bringing in the spirit of Haloa right there. And then, um, you know, walking through, 
We went over to the Capitol, got our little uh, shenanigans going there. And the next day was uh, day day two of lobbying, and um, this day was serious. We woke up early in the morning, met, met with um, James and Chris of Senator Schatz's office, and um, talked to them about the Farm Apprentice mentorship programs that we want to get going, <clears throat> as well as the food hubs. And uh, Aaron was there with us, and he was a great coach to let us know how to how to lobby, how to speak to the politicians, how to make the ask, how to get gain rapport, how to get work the system, because it's all about special interests, and you want your special interests honored, and that's why we're getting the time there. And um, we got to meet with Maisie Hirono's staff, staff, excuse me, all Joe, Jed, and Jen, all Jays, tri- the Triple J there. And um, they were very receptive. Um, also, Maisie's been a great supporter of uh, regenerative agriculture. She understands Hawaii's struggle as a small farmer and is working towards uh, getting, you know, the sluggish government to move towards helping where it needs the, you know, where we need it, regenerative ag, family farms. Um, we um, also remembered to honor, honor the Mauna a little bit here. Capitol Hill. It's a tight issue for everybody. Um, And then uh, we got to meet up with the American Samoan folks. And these guys, I got great rapport with them talking about pigs. Because in American Samoa, where your status is comes from how many pigs you have. So speaking with them about, you know, what can we do to um, have no smell pigs, no clean NRCS approved technology that's uh, Korean natural farming pigs for anyone who's interested in looking that up um, saw some amazing plants hibiscus Vince was always entertaining as we walked the halls of Congress and then we met up with Arizona this this fine lady here Emily was helping us uh, connect about agriculture and um, she was just really enthusiastic and great to work with, uh, representing Ann Kirkpatrick of Arizona. Wonder, wonderful, good, good staff people choice there. Um, and then uh, we visited AOC's office, who was the only person that was attracting indigenous people to her office. I was surprised. Most Congress people, you see indigenous people running from them, but when you have indigenous people coming by and in groupie wanting a picture in front of your door you know you're doing something right so uh congress people take notice you know you may love her hate her whatever but uh she's doing something right when indigenous people are flocking to her and uh here here we are meeting out the our california rep um kelvin there was a great guy um looking you know looking forward to corresponding with him to get national farmers union agendas on your front, uh, in your you know wheelhouse, so you can support those. And um, then we hit up Tulsi's office, and they really took the time to meet with us and make us feel special, part of the team. And Tulsi's been supporting agriculture, especially regenerative farm, family farming, for years now. So it's been just a wonder working with Tulsi. Uh, and then you know schmoozing in the halls of Congress, you see all kinds of folks. Uh, and uh, just walk in those halls. It's it's amazing how many people lobby each day, and what are you going to say that's going to make your policy or your special interest stand out? And I, I don't know about the whole system we have set up here, but it was interesting to learn about it, to see, to meet the folks from all over lobbying and uh, trying our best to stay positive as we went around the Capitol. And... Uh, there, you know, one thing I did notice is there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of people with a lot of injustices going on. And uh, it makes you wonder, you know, what's stopping us from doing action right on the ground? And that's, that's what attracts me to Farmers Union. That's what brings me in is that we're doing such a great job as leaders on the ground, living our farming truth. And, um, you know, Vince setting that as one of his things for the Farmers Union, run by farmers. For farmers, and um, 
so I'm hoping Congress will wake up, listen, regenerative ag will come to the forefront, and we can um, start to do, you know, what our nation needs, building a better soil foundation. So, uh, anyway, it was long days there. We met, they sent us to all our Pacific Islander friends, um, and we got to meet with Guam, uh, who else, Micronesia, all these places I didn't even know were uh, part of um, our, you know, United States, actually. And um, then Ed Case, uh, we went to his office, and he graciously met with us, welcomed us in, took time with us. It was a great guy. He's been supporting Family Ag, too. And then Tulsi made time for us in the Capitol building. So we went through the tunnels, the, the bowels of the U.S. Capitol to meet up with Tulsi between votes to protect the Florida coastline in this room with generals and high-order high staff. And then the Reverend Jesse Jackson came by. He met up with us. And then we really got a great time to encourage Tulsi to continue to support regenerative ag, continue her quest for president, to spread the word, to get it out, because she's, she's been just a great leader on the ground in my experience. And um, what, a, what an amazing time in D.C., you know, and what a great leader Vince is, great time hanging out with him seeing just, you know, um, getting to know the real leadership behind the scenes and, um, you know, hanging out. What It's uh, Farmers Union's the real deal. I hope this kind of updated you about what happened there. Um, you know, really our legislative policies that we talked about while we were in these offices were Farm Apprentice Mentorship Program, um, the food hubs, food hubs that we're getting going all over the state and the uh, land trusts so that people can develop farmland and get folks on the farmland so that we can transform Hawaii into just something that brings ROI, return on investment. So the tax money, the, the federal appropriations put here, you know, however they're spent, it's going to return because Hawaii is going to have richer soils. It's going to be more attractive to tourists. Um, we're going to have healthier food. People are going to be drawn to Hawaii. So the return on investment, investing in nation, and now is the time to invest. Um, so that's the message we're bringing. Join the Farmers Union. Join with the, the folks that want to eat better food. Um, so with that, I hope you're having a great evening or day. And... Uh, Catching with you soon. Aloha.